Look, I don't think we can blink the reality here. North Korea is getting ever closer to deliverable nuclear weapons, barring some dramatic action by China, which is a, an increasingly fading hope, I think, at this point. Uh, we're coming down to the decision either to accept nuclear weapons in the hands of this very uh, bizarre regime uh, or consider the use of military force. These are not happy choices, but we're running out of options. Wouldn't military force, though, uh, wouldn't that choice be catastrophic, considering the millions who could, could be killed, potentially, in, in South Korea with Seoul, 35 miles from the DMZ? Consider the millions of Americans who could be killed by this bizarre, bizarre regime led by a man uh, who had assassins kill his own half-brother with VX gas. Uh, in a Malaysian airport. You know, this regime may be rational, but it's rational in its own strange world. Uh, and having them with uh, that capability and the ability to sell it to others, I think uh, we, we need, we're going to have to have a debate on this. Are we going to accept that, or do we find it unacceptable? Now, I take the word unacceptable to, to mean we will not accept it. That, that's the issue we're coming to. You know? Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's February 5th, 2018. Hoping you're having a wonderful day, guys. A blessed day. You just heard Ambassador John Bolton on Fox News interviewing about North Korea. He's pushing this North Korean narrative, the war that is going to happen against North Korea, stating that, you know, North Korea, it's either we accept them or we bomb them, which he's not wrong. Those are two options. China's not going to do anything. Russia's not going to do anything. We've, we've seen that. They've helped them through the sanctions. We've caught them red-handed, all right? But once again, the mainstream media is pushing this war against North Korea. All right, and Ambassador John Bolton, or former Ambassador John Bolton, uh, has been a huge supporter of a first strike against North Korea. And I wouldn't take this man's words so seriously, but he's had multiple meetings in the White House to discuss this very same issue. We're getting reports that a strike on North Korea is becoming more and more likely as the days go by. All right, we're not going to see it before the Olympics. We're not going to see it during the Olympics, unless there's a false flag. But we will see it after the Winter Olympics. Another big player who's also had meetings in the White House is Henry Kissinger, who is quoted to say a nuclear strike, a nuclear first strike on North Korea is quote-unquote tempting. This is another man who, like Ambassador John Bolton, has had meetings with the Trump administration in the White House. All right. I know, see, it's easy to see how the mainstream media works and it's to see if people are following or falling for it, right? You can go to any of their social media pages. You can go to their YouTube page. You can go to their website, for Christ's sake, and you see all these people who, who comment on the current situation, right? And they say, why don't we just bomb this little fat Kim? Why don't we just you know, turn their whole entire country into a parking lot? See, this that's the problem with politicians, with the party lines. When it comes to situations like North Korea, which was set up, this whole issue was set up by the Clinton administration, but it's continued through every administration since. Nothing's been done. We're getting to the point now where a first strike by the United States of America is highly likely. And why is it likely? Why is it likely? Right? North Korea, if we let them keep the nukes, we just say, hey, you're a nuclear power. I would, you know, guess, it would be my guess that they would never first strike the U.S. or, or South Korea. I really don't think it would happen. But the fact is, if there is a percentage that they will, then how can you not strike them before they get the capability? They may have the capability now. Our intel has seemed to be off because of this. What's sad is both parties, both sides, whether you're talking about the politicians talking about North Korea or the media outlets like CNN, MSNBC, or Fox News, all paint this narrative, paint this picture of North Korea being this evil place, which I'm not saying it's not, but this evil place that if they get nukes, we're all dead. You know why they do that? Because when the U.S. does strike North Korea, they want the population, the majority of the population, to side with them. Guys, as more information about this comes out, we'll let you guys know. We'll talk about it. We'll discuss it. I'm not saying that 
<laughs> I want North Korea to have nuclear weapons. I'm saying that a war could spiral out of control, and it'd be the bloodiest thing we've seen in a long time. Take care, guys.